So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. This must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. What are you making of this formation, Jim Beglin? Well, I can tell you, Peter, that I actually always like playing in this formation because as a wing-back, you get more freedom to go forward. As an orthodox full-back, you had to be more selective in the runs you made. The back three should be able to deal with certainly one opposition striker and, and possibly two and that's why I liked it because I didn't have to get back that much and that gets things running and Tonelli Goes direct to the front line. Now a chance to break. Oh, what? Oh, the whistle's gone. What's he given? No, the referee's judged that the offence took place outside the area. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. And he's going to Rex. And it's hoisted clear. Forward it goes. He spotted the run and played him through. Neither side yet able to find the net. Looks to bypass the midfield. That's offside. Yes, it is. Gets good distance on it. Ball's gone out of play. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Defending of the desperate variety. Half an hour played now. Goes long, looks to play him in, but uh, a minor communications breakdown. Still waiting for the first goal. Hoists it forward, just brushed off the ball there. And out to safety. Did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Over to the left. Hoists it high. He's got options out wide. Repelled by the keeper. And the half 
half-time whistle goes. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. To look back on the first 45 minutes. Unspectacular, but solid, and that solidity could yet be the foundation for them to, to go on and win. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still 0-0. So we're just settling back into this second half. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. Antonelli. A real chance to break. And it's been taken straight back. This could spell danger. Has a hit! Played it short. Shot at goal! A real chance and a real let-off. Well, Peter, he clearly felt he was being invited to shoot, and it wasn't the worst decision he could have made. Keeper and try something new. No breakthrough and well into the second period. It is still anyone's game. And it's Antonelli. Antonelli clips one. Gets up to head it! He's missed, but not by that far. A more than decent attempt, Peter. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Chance to locate someone up front. It's a brilliant interception. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. to get it forward quickly. It's a throw. And it's played forward. He's made sure that that won't get through. Look, their supporters must be going barmy about this because there's no sense of purpose in what we're seeing. Plays a clever pass. And the referee brings it to a close. And it looked nil-nil from a fair way out. A little craft or guile or penetration. Defences largely untroubled. It's goals. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Yeah, this looked the most likely.